Chief Daniel Slaughter tells Aid on Your Side the past few weeks have given him time to reflect on what's going well at the police department and what's not going so well. I didn't do a good enough communication. We talked to our leaders. We went through our uh, community leaders and tried to use that to, to, to speak to the broader constituency. Chief Slaughter says there haven't been use of force issues in his department, but if he did have to fire an officer, the president's plan creates a database that would make it difficult for that officer to go somewhere else. The chief tells me that is good news. When you're um, you know, in this profession, you want to hire really good people. That's, that's part of it. And you don't want somebody slipping through the cracks, and you surely don't want passing off a, a problem employee to another agency. Take the James Rybicki case, for example. Pinellas Detective Michael Alvarez left the sheriff's office after being accused of falsifying information to obtain a search warrant. That lie botched the case. At the time, Sheriff Bob Gualtieri said if Alvarez was still in Pinellas County, he would have been arrested. But he wasn't in Pinellas. He was in Michigan, working for another police department. That is the type of crack the president's order aims to fill. Uh, this ability to have information readily available to each other and doing proper information sharing I think will be uh, really good for the profession and it will make officers aware that uh, they're not going to be able to cheat the system. Some in the community hope this is a starting point to solve the bigger issues with law enforcement. What I think was very necessary for the president of this country to do is to come out and acknowledge that we got some work to do in law enforcement. Chief Slaughter doesn't disagree and hopes the conversations will lead to a positive outcome for the entire community. In Pinellas County, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.